Babylon, all right, depart from the ways and hating uh, Babylon the Great, man, in your life. This, uh, this is the scripture of it. This is uh, St. John chapter 12 and verse 26. That's heavy. I'll think of this this morning. Uh, St. John 12 and 25. He that loveth his life shall lose it, and he that hateth his, hated, hated his life in this world shall keep it until a life eternal. So you should, you should hate your life in this world, man. All right, and it, it says what? Uh, verse 25, he that loveth his life shall lose it. So you love Babylon the Great, you love your damn job, you damn love your country, all right, you, uh, 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 you love it, you're gonna lose this life, man. It says, and he that hated his life in this world shall keep it until life eternal. And that's heavy. Because the Lord said you hate your life in this world. Not that you actually hate your existence of living, all right? But you hate this world, man, your life in this world. Yeah, God, God, I got something. Hey, Salah, hey, hey, who run in this world, man? You right. saw Edom, man. Right. All right? Right. Hey, and, and the wisest king ever actually said out of his own mouth that he hated his life. Okay. And, and also that every, I'm gonna read it. Uh, Ecclesiastes 1 and uh, third, oh, I'm gonna start at 11. There is no remembrance of former things. Neither shall there be any remembrance of things that are to come with those uh, with those that shall come after. So just like the scripture say, we will be as those that said dreams. Your whole life is but a vapor. Right. This whole existence is nothing. We're not even gonna really remember this. It's just gonna be destruction. Right. All right, if this is the point the Lord said, but he said, we will be as those that dream. A badass nightmare, man. A fake nightmare, yeah. man. All right. And that's the person you have about sitting outside, man. Like, you do not remember this bullshit. That's right. Yeah. I, the preacher, was king over Israel and Jerusalem. Uh, 13, and gave my heart to seek and search by wisdom concerning all things that are done under heaven. This sword travel have uh, the most high given to the sons of men to be exercised therewith. And that's what we, uh, that's what's been given to us, man. All right, we've been given, like, uh, Sirach, the 21 chapter, uh, I believe, states, um, when you get a certain amount of knowledge and wisdom, uh, it makes you bitter because you understand the truth and you understand what situation that you're in and that we're in a uh, damn uh, a shithole, man. Yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. for lack of a better words, verse yeah, 14. Worst case scenario, like the uh, yeah. elder always says. Yeah. yeah. Verse has the point. Verse 14. I have seen all the works that are done under the sun, and behold, all is vanity and vexation of spirit. Right. So uh, everything uh, that is under this fucking sun, yeah. this whole earth right now, right. this whole rulership is vanity, man. Right. And vexation of spirit, because like the brothers going into early, you got uh, everything that's adverse to the Bible being pushed uh, uh, in this kingdom. Right, brother. Like, you, like, like the brother was saying, like, yeah, you got to balance it out here. Yeah, every once in a while, the war might give you a little moment here or there. But at the end of the day, you can't raise your children in righteousness in this place, man. You can't lead your woman in righteousness in this place. You can't, uh, you know. Uh, you, 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 you can't, man. There, there, it's, this is the simple kingdom. Okay, so there's nothing you can do, all right, to, uh, 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 to, get, to get around that. Man. Nothing you can do to get around that. So, like you said, like you don't want the people to come and you're an enemy of, of, of the Lord. Man. The Lord is going to deal with you in a way that's very. You're going you're gonna to feel the death by pain that the Bible talks about. Um, but back on the brother said, I'm going to go about the hot body here to preach up because he said something about the more wisdom you have, more grief, yeah. man. Yeah. And uh, right. uh, yeah. our yeah. forefathers spoke about that also, man. Because the more you know, the more uh, matter and Saturday you're going to be because you're going to see this how wicked this damn society is, man. Alright? These people uh, acting like we the bad guys. Right. Alright? And you, your kids turn on the damn TV and it's two damn boys kissing. Come on. Right. Man. And you got to explain that. Right. How you going to explain it to yourself? Right. Well, you got to, uh, the kids you gotta, mimic stuff so you yeah. right, come on. You got little children now saying that, well, I, I want to change my gender. This place is wicked as hell, man. Hey. You don't want to go on one more day here. That's why the, that's why the other pastor of ours said this is a year of hasting unto the coming of the day of the Lord, man, because the men who are in the right frame of mind spiritually, in the right way of thinking, want this place to be destroyed. All right? Uh, 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 looking for that what? The kingdom wherein dwelleth righteousness. You know? Hey, uh, uh, Ecclesiastes 1 and 18. Um, ooh, I'm going to start at 17. And I gave my heart to know wisdom and to know madness and folly. I perceive that this is also, this also is vexation of spirit. 
So we know both sides. We we know yeah. we know what's yeah. going on in this place, yeah. man. Yeah. All right, and not only the good, but we know the bad. What's going yeah. on? And that's vexation of spirit. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Hey, we know what going out to the club. All right, hitting a couple holes. Yeah, that's fun, but we know that's what vanity, <laughs> right. man. Yeah. Yeah. Going to get the latest pair of shoes. Right. Yeah. Going to this game. Right. That should be fun and shit, but we yeah. not. But we know what. All this is damn vanity, man. Right. Right. And this is coming from the great <laughs> king. Stop. He had every he had day. Damn king. Literally every right. day. Right. He's the richest king ever. There was peace in his in, during his reign. Yeah. 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 So he going around the world doing all the fun yeah. shit. Yeah. But he like at the end of the day, man. It's yeah. Because he knew what was coming. He knew the kid was coming. Right, wasn't right, coming. Brother. This That's is right. just a damn. Right, we just passing through. That's this right, place. brother. That's right, brother. Yeah. Even though he had everything, that doesn't yeah. even hold a counter to what a match to what right. a uh, is going to be in the kingdom. That's right. That's right. That's right. And uh, you get to the end of his of that book, the twelve chapters. And what did he say? Oh, yeah. He said the, the whole duty of man was to what? Yeah. Fear the most high yeah. Yeah. and keep his commandments. Yeah. That's the whole duty of man. Yeah. At the end, that, that, that's what he, uh, how he summed up that uh, the whole book of Ecclesiastes. The whole duty is to fear the most high and keep his commandments. Uh, uh, Ecclesiastes uh, uh, 1 and 18. For if much wisdom is much grief, and he that increases knowledge increases sorrow. Let me, bring this let, me, uh, let me get a piece of going on with y'all. Forsaken this place. Uh, this is the house out, Matthew 19 and verse 29. It says, And every one that hath forsaken houses, or brethren, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my name's sake. Okay, so there's the key right there. You know, not just because you want to go off and be a hermit or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, yeah, you're doing it for your you owner. Owner. Right. You're doing it, <laughs> you're doing it for your house, excuse me, outside, yeah, right. name's That's sake. Right. Okay, so there's the caveat right there. The condition it says, shall receive an hundredfold. It shall inherit everlasting life. So, uh, forsaking this place, spiritually departing, hating your life here, you know, it's going to lead you to everlasting life. Right? Yeah, that's it, man. That's yeah. it. Even, even your, your wife and your children, he says your wife and your children, man. Does that mean you go off and you just run away and never talk to them again? No. All right? But the work of the Lord is first and foremost primary in your life. All right? Even if that means you got to get away from them. All right? Because again, your family life is your family life is vanity. Your family life here is vanity. Why? Because it's not gonna last like the brother's scriptures and what where we are and what's all happened and the, 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 the wickedness all around you. You don't think that that, that could cause you to drink, man. Like, the that wickedness that you, you know? did. Right. Yeah, right. The stuff that we did not only in this life, in the truth, prior to the truth, but what about our past life? Which we ain't even going to get into that because y'all want to understand it. You know? So yeah, man, you start thinking about all those things and it's going to be it literally, if, you, if the spirit's not with you, it can drive you insane, man. It can make you literally go insane. That's why you, you just have, you know, hey, if the Lord's not with you, you will drive yourself crazy, man. That's why it's good to not study alternate material, man. Yeah. And not go into other records and do this and that. Because it's, that's a good uh, one study is much weirder. Yeah. You know? So stick with the scripture. You know? And, and the only way you can do it is knowing that you got brothers that uh, you know uh, you fellowship with and you can talk to, you could uh, relate to. They going through the same things, so that the Lord gives you grace there, you know, because He gives you the body to help you out, you know, to make that uh, journey a little less uh, burdensome. You imagine doing it by yourself. That would not be good. You know, a cord of three strands is what? Not easily broken. So yeah, man. Hey, anybody got anything? That's crazy. Look how you going crazy out there. But look how you walk. Right. Hey, man, Lord. Hey, man. Well, he's hitting somebody's car. Yeah, he's going in, bro. He's going, and he walked around. He walked around. Quiet as hell. Wow, we're so able. Never fucking break. Yeah, we're just talking. We're just talking about. We got time. Yeah, 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 we got time
like the Lord saying, come out of her, my people, come up here. That's the elect going into those ships, right? Beginning with the pen first. Alright? Um, check this out. Let's get this microphone real quick. Let's get this microphone real quick. Let's get this microphone. Because we, 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 are, we are not supposed to physically go anywhere. The great bulk of the deliverance is going to happen right here where you are. Yeah. Okay. That's a lack of faith. Hell yeah. Faith. yeah. Because the great deliverance yeah. is going to happen over here. So yeah. why yeah. flee from the place where the great exactly. deliverance is going to happen? You want to be part of the movement? Revelation 15 talks about a sea, uh, a sea me, uh, a glass mingled with fire. So the elect is going to be looking down from those chariots in the destruction of this place. What a sight that was. This is Micah chapter 4 and verse 10. Be in pain and labor to bring forth, O daughter of Zion, like a woman in travail. For now shalt thou go forth out of the city, and thou shalt dwell in the field, and thou shalt go even to Babylon. <laughs> so see, you're going to go to Babylon now. Yeah. Right? There shalt thou be delivered. Uh, okay. Beautiful, so yeah, Beautiful. man, you go into Babylon, Beautiful. right? The Lord said he was going to bring it. Look, all I look, the, the bulk of the prophets is in America, man. Right? Okay. Yeah, the bulk of the prophets is in America. That's right. They said we were going to come to Babylon, that's right? Heavy, and here we're going to be that's delivered. Heavy, right? Right? You bring that one more time. Yeah, yeah, Kai, Kai, that's heavy, man. It says, Micah 4 and 10, be in pain and labor to bring forth, O daughter of Zion, like a woman in travail. For now shalt thou go forth out of the city, and thou shalt dwell in the field. And, and then the field will be like earth. And thou shalt even go. And thou shalt go even to Babylon. There shalt thou be delivered. There shall Yahweh. Like there shall Yahweh redeem thee from the hand of thy enemies. Now, so see, now, 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 what the hell are you talking about? Flee Babylon, visit. Go get a plane ticket, sell your house, uh, move to Egypt. No, there thou shalt be delivered, man. So again, man, that second exodus out of this new spiritual Egypt, all right? This America, this Babylon, all right? So yeah, man, that's what the Lord said. Lamentations chapter 3 and verse 25. Yahweh is good unto them that wait for him, to the soul that seeketh him. Verse 26. It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of Yahweh. You know? Hey, so that's good. Hey, that's it's good to wait, patiently wait on the deliverance of Yahweh by Shimmy outside. We ain't gonna gather up no arms and try to go fight Esau. All right, we ain't gonna try to move to damn, uh, damn Brazil, okay? All right, because we don't think the news gonna hit there. All right, we're gonna, we ain't gonna find, we ain't gonna move to Tasmania or nowhere. You know, we're gonna sit, prophesy, and wait on your how about shit outside. That takes too much work to do all that. Yeah, man, hell yeah. How yeah, you gonna do all that fucking that bullshit? Well, you just come prophesy and have faith. Yeah, that's right. And wait. Right. Yeah, that's right. So a lot of y'all don't want to wait, though. And then the scriptures yeah, talks about not making haste. In the oh, day yeah, of trouble, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of you trying to make haste, and you're gonna be destroyed. Man. Yeah. Wait on the Lord, man.
Judah, Levi Benjamin went down into the hands of the uh, Babylonians. The Edomites were helping him. Sacking the temple, you know, taking his taking the spoils. Right. Raise it, raise it. Destroy it, destroy it. That's what I mean. Even to the foundation thereof. Yeah. Oh daughter of Babylon, who ought to be destroyed. Oh daughter of Babylon. Alright, so Babylon, we understand ancient Babylon, we know where that is on the map, okay? Babylon has a daughter. Babylon also has a mother. The UK. Okay? This is the daughter of Babylon, America, man. Who oh, it's like happy shall he be that reward of thee as thou have served us. Yeah. And how did y'all serve us? Hardcore slavery? Feeding us all type of detestable things. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just Teaching us, us the, like uh, this. The, uh, giving us a, uh, a, 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 a BS idol to worship. Yeah. A false religion to follow after. Right. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> happy shall he be yeah. that take him and dash of thy little ones against the stones. God. And that's what's going to happen, man. Yeah. Is there any more? No, that's it. Okay. Yeah, the daughter, the daughter, the daughter of Babylon, America. Alright, don't be destroyed. Alright? Let's do the uh get in the Isaiah. Get in the uh my hands like you can take turns, uh chop it up a little bit. Yeah, because Jeremiah, he obviously he's he was obviously uh, speaking against the Babylon ancient Babylon, but he but there's many fold understanding these scriptures. He talked about the virgin daughter of Babylon, which is a miracle. He talked about the virgin daughter of Babylon, which is, uh, is, which is America, okay? So he was talking about, yeah, he was talking about ancient Babylon, but then he flips it into uh, talking about this place's destruction. Yeah, and if it was ancient Babylon, why would he say in the book of Revelation, mystery, Babylon? Right. right. Cause we know, right, because we know ancient Babylon. Yeah, we know, Babylon, yeah, we know ancient Babylon. It's not Why would it say mystery Babylon? Right, right. All right, uh, 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 damn, I think that's in Peter's when it talks, it says something about oh, yeah. those in Babylon. Matter of fact, yeah, let's get it. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, I think like the first verse. Because he's talking about... Oh, 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 over here, man. To the, uh, yeah. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Because there was a Babylon. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So that was talking. So, so what are you talking about? That right. was after and that Babylon was after. Yeah. failed. That was thousands of years. That, yeah, that was <laughs> way after. So who are yeah. these people he's writing to in Babylon? Babylon. That's us, man. But he was writing to the scattered strangers. Yeah. That's called the Israelites. Yeah. Who was in all these various places. Right. And then he said Babylon. Right. Talk about us right now. Man. And we all know who Peter is. Right. David knew he was going to be over here in Babylon. Yeah. He said that required of us a song, man. You know? I have a look at it. I'm just like, yeah, you look it up on the line. You can start Jeremiah. We'll get in the Yeah, let's find that. There ain't no. Look, in modern day, I'm not saying that. There's a lot of Israelites that are over there in, uh, in Iraq, in uh, Iran. Yeah, our people are scattered into all nations, man. They're mingling among Ishmael definitely. But they ain't over there uh, prophesying. You see a camp, you see any camps in uh, present day Iraq? I don't see any camps, any churches in present day Iraq. They not out on the street corner prophesying the downfall of America. The Israelites ain't going uh, uh, severely under the curses over there in uh, Iraq. Those Israelites that's leaving over there, yeah, they going through it, but they're not going through it like Judah is going through it over here in Babylon and Great, so to speak. Uh, Northern Kingdom going through it over here, man. First Peter 5 and 13. The church that is at Babylon, elected together with you, salute of you, and so doth Mark is my son. So what, what Babylon is Peter talking about? What are you talking about? He's obviously talking about this Babylon, man. Come on. The church that is in Babylon. The church that is in Babylon, man. That's here. That's here. The church that is in Babylon. That is. America. Come on, man. That's a mystery. And, that, and that's a mystery. Yeah, that's you a gotta mystery. You got to know. You got to be deep in these scriptures to know who Peter is talking about, uh, what Peter is talking about right there. Exactly. Man. He exactly. was uh, basically, uh, uh, in every essence of the word, prophesied, saying before, man. Yeah. He was talking about present-day Babylon and at that time. Man. Right. He probably went over, like the scriptures say, we know more than our teachers yeah. because the scrolls have been unlocked, man. Right. So now we 
have the full understanding of the Bible because certain of our uh, forefathers were prophesying about certain things that they didn't even know about. That's right. You know? Yeah. yeah. That's right. Yeah. We're reading this now. Yeah. And we're reading this in 2021, so called 2021. So where is the Church of Babylon? It's right here. That's right. Um, Jeremiah, Jeremiah people. Let's uh, go through some of it. We might jump around to Revelation 18. Yeah. The word that the Lord spake against Babylon and against the land of the Chaldeans by Jeremiah the prophet. Yeah, there's a lot to say about this place. He's speaking against this place. Yeah. Declare ye among the nations and publish. Set up a standard. Publish and conceal not. Say Babylon is taken. Bell is confounded. Merodach is broken in pieces. Her idols are confounded. Her images are broken in pieces in real fast. Where were the Chaldeans? Uh, what uh, the, the Chaldeans? Uh, uh, yeah, where, where were the Chaldeans? They were, they were, they were, they were, they were like, yeah, they, 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 were, they, were, they were like wizards. They were like, they were like warlocks and wizards. Yeah. All right, and this place is nothing but witchcraft. Yeah, because this place was founded by a bunch of damn Freemasons. Yeah. yeah. Back to the beginning of America, it's nothing but Freemasons that wrote the uh, all the you know that wrote the whatever the Constitution. Those were all yeah. You look at them, they're all, they're all wearing Masonic garb, they're flashing pyramids, and they're all Masons. And look at your, uh, yeah, yeah, look at the so-called doctors and stuff, they're witches and warlocks. Uh, they got to take a certain oath, I forgot what the oath is called, but you basically uh, take the oath to the pagan gods. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, the Hippocratic Oath. The Hippocratic Earth. Oh, yeah. yeah. You got to take an oath to different uh, uh, ancient, <laughs> yeah. You got you to gotta take an oath. To uh, ancient deities, is that Sclepius? Yeah, you know uh, all, all the uh, because they work with uh, 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 all the all the uh, anyways, man. Yeah. This place is founded by a bunch of wizards. Look at the symbol; it's a Caduceus, right. yeah, yeah, two yeah. serpents. Yeah, yeah. Come on, man. Yep, yep. Gone. And this place was founded by wizards. So, the, who are the modern day Chaldeans? They're the uh, the Jewish international bankers. They're all they're all warlocks. They drink blood. They, they suck, look, they do all kinds of wickedness, man. Yeah. You know, and they think the Lord don't see them. The Lord sees everything. Hey, the scriptures cause the, uh, of the Chaldees excellency, man, because this place yep. has superseded yeah. all other, uh, yeah. you know, uh, queendoms before. Yeah, right? this is uh, this is the place the top. Yeah, yeah, this is the elites uh, of pride and joy, man. Yeah. This is their, you know, this, this, this is the pinnacle of what they yeah. what they set up to do, man. Yeah. See, out of, out of here is where they set up to, to spread all this wickedness. Yeah. They chose America. Now they threw with her. Yeah. They, they don't need her no Y'all all right. Y'all right. They don't need her no more. They, they, they used America up for what she was good for. You know what America was good for? Killing, stealing, destroying all over the globe, man. That's what America was good for. That's what these elites used. That's what the, uh, the elites used you for. They used your military to do all the conquering for them. Because they were wasn't about no damn, uh, uh, you know, fighting terrorism. They that they want to colonize a whole Middle East, man. They are the terrorists. They are the terrorists, man. So anyways, uh, the modern day child beings now are these Jewish international bankers. For out of the north they coming up a nation against her, who shall make her land desolate, and none shall dwell therein. Well, see, see, there you go. Go ahead and say it. I knew you were about to say it, but basically, a hey, modern day Babylon uh, is, is right now inhabited, man. That's a Iraq, right? That's right. Modern-day Babylon is the land of Iraq. There's millions of Israelites over there. So, what land is this talking about? That's totally desolate. Definitely not. And how the hell is this talking about Vatican City, man? There's still people living in Vatican City. Come on, man. Vatican City ain't going to be destroyed with thermonuclear missiles. America is. I mean, it got some nukes. I mean, it's going to get hit. It's going to take a... A lot of places oh, yeah. in terms are going to get rocked, man. But this but is this, the only place that's going to get totally... This place is going to be totally annihilated off the place here. Uninhabitable. No. Uh, they sh uh, and none shall dwell, shall dwell therein. They shall remove, they shall depart, both man and beast. In those days and in that time, say the Lord, the children of Israel shall come. They and the children of Judah together. Now look, now check this out, right? That's happening here. Right? You got Southern Kingdom and Northern Kingdom coming together. You look around, you got camps, uh, uh, 
got every kind of. Uh, we got uh, Royal Southern Kingdom, you know, five sides together, right? We just can't be talking about modern day or uh, ancient Iraq. Ancient Iraq. We're changing the culture. How about America, man? The children of Israel shall go, they and the children of Judah together, going and weeping. They shall go and seek the Lord their power. That's what we're doing right now. We're seeking the Lord our power. Do these scriptures, uh, prophesying, you know. That's us seeking our power. And that's also all about us crying too. Because we're crying out to the Lord when we do this. They shall ask the way to Zion with their faces still the world. Hey, y'all need to be asking the way to Zion, man. Good Christ need to be over here asking us how you get to Zion. Y'all don't want to hear it, man. It's Friday night in, in, in Soda City. I got better things to do. Saying, come and let us join ourselves to the Lord in a perpetual covenant that shall not be forgotten. Right? Which eventually that's going to transition into the new covenant being established. Yeah. You know, which hasn't been established yet. I tell you. My people have been lost sheep. You're lost sheep out here, man. So-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, and you're lost. They're lost. Their shepherds have caused them to go astray. Uh -huh. They have turned them away on the mountains. They have gone from mountain to hill. They have forgotten their resting place. You got your resting place, which is, the, which is the Bible right now, man. It's true. That's your resting place right now. And you forgot that, man, because a lot of your, lead, your leaders are full of shit. Al Sharpton, Jesse Jackson, uh, uh, Farrakhan. Even though Farrakhan played, Farrakhan's a mason. So he, and he plays both sides. He'll tell you the truth about a lot of things, but then he'll he'll mingle it in with, with uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He'll throw in the he'll throw in the lie, man. Yeah. Yeah. So your leaders have caused you to go to go astray, man. Because you, know? you don't see, you know, for example, I'm just using Farrakhan because he has a lot of influence. Do, do you hear him talk about you need to come back to Yahweh by some Yahweh side right now? No. He ain't saying that. He's set up, dude. He's set up. Yeah, man, you, your leaders are causing, and then you got all these uh, false pastors out here in these churches. They're telling you you can eat whatever you want. The laws are done away with. You know? They basically telling you to sin. So you got the rest of the place. Huh? Verse seven. All that found him have devoured them, uh, and their adversaries said, "We offend not, because they have sinned against the Lord. The habitation of justice, even the Lord, the hope of their father." So, man, you got uh, the accused of our brethren and all these. You got the accused of our brethren, all right, the number one wicked person that's running this earth, Esau, Edom, and then the other nations doing stuff to us to constantly make us go off, man, and then going uh, to our power, like, look at your people going off, man. We're not offended. Uh, we're, we're offended not because, uh, you know, the lost house of parents wasn't given to us, but they were given to them, and look what they're doing. You know? It all goes down to jealousy. They, they, they're they jealous of us at the end of the day, man. You know, because of the, uh, yeah, how about you, y'all, y'all's will? Yeah. The accuser of our brethren, man. Yeah. Uh, meaning, meaning he's, he's building a case against you, Jake's, man. And, and best believe it, he's, he's got a final case he's built against you. Because you're going to be the face of everything that's wrong over here in Babylon, the Great City. Because those of us in the truth, we're not going to take that uh, the dragon juice. So they're going to call us, what are they going to call it? Domestic terrorists. They're going to say it's because of us. Society can't go forward because we don't want to do this, we don't want to do that. So they're going to make you the face of all. All that found them have, all that found them that have devoured them, and they have, yeah, I, I read that. Yeah, yeah. Nah. Okay, okay, okay. Be kind. I'm gonna jump down to 11 because the brother just said something beautiful. How Esau Edom likes to uh, uh, do things to make Jake go off. It's uh, still in Jeremiah. We're gonna jump to verse 11. Because ye were glad, because ye rejoiced. Oh, ye destroyer of my inheritance. See, Esau was glad. They was um, um, they were glad. They rejoiced that Israel started going off, man. That Israel wasn't following the. It's not 
was not following the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Shema and Shai. Alright? He said, because you were glad, because you rejoiced, alright? Happy that day was going on. He said, because you are grown fat as the heifer at grass and yellow as bullies, your mother shall be sore confounded. She that bear you shall be ashamed. All right, and, and that's the blood like to go into. Also, that's over there, what, uh, where the Great Britain and stuff, man? All right, that's that mother that's going to be confounded and ashamed of Babylon the Great. Represented by the lion, man. Yeah. She's going to watch you burn. See that there you shall also be ashamed. Behold, the hindermost of the nation shall be a wilderness, a dry land, and a desert. That's why this is the hindermost. Yep. yep. This land mass over here is the hindermost of the nation. This was the last man, uh, land mass really to be yeah, discovered and be inhabited. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, it's, it's been discovered. Hey, yeah. Solomon used to come yeah, over yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, you know what I'm saying? This is Oprah. Yeah. And also, as him and most meaning, also to the youngest of the nation. Yeah. America's the youngest of the nation. That's why they, that's why they call it New England. Yeah. That's why they call it New York. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. the youngest of the nation. Yeah, yeah. yeah these old uh, countries, man. Russia, man. Russia's old, man. Iran, old. Yeah. Germany, oh, America's young, man. America's only a couple hundred years old. If you, if you go back to 1770, then obviously they was up here from, from their inception. Right, you know what I'm saying? People actually set this place right. up to be, you know what I'm saying, to be inhabited. Right. That's why they that's why they called it called it all those things. <laughs> I got some. Uh, Revelation 12 and 10. <laughs> and I heard a loud voice saying in heaven. Now has come salvation and strength, and the kingdom of our power, and the power of his, of his anointing. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, before our power day and night. Yeah, see, the accuser of our brethren, the accuser of our brethren is Satan Esau. All right, he's the accuser. <laughs> see? Hey, you know, hey, you might think this is a little thing. We don't think it's a little thing. Hey. Esau is the one that teaches our people to celebrate the damn birthdays, man. Yeah. Jeremiah said he, he uh, what did Jeremiah say? Basically, he he heard he cursed the day he was born. born. Yeah. You know? Yeah. See, that, that's, that's, a, that's a good example of you know, how you know, Esau programming our people to go off. All right, hey, you know. All right. Uh, this is, you got one, bro? Jeez. Uh, Jeremiah 50 and 13. Because of the wrath of the howl, it shall not be inhabited. All right, see, um, that's the that's what's gonna happen in Babylon today. That's why the brothers going in. This place is meant to be destroyed. It has to. It must be. It is meant for it to be. Because of the wrath of Yahweh, it shall not be inhabited. For it shall be wholly desolate. Every one that goes by Babylon shall be astonished and missed our way. Check this out, man. Uh, it talks about the uh, ship yeah, yeah. Right now, you've got all these ships on the Atlantic Ocean. You've got all these ships on the Pacific Ocean. They can't bring the goods into oh, yeah. America right now. And they said they're going to be watching this place burn, man. And they're going to be weeping because they ain't going to be able to make a buck off, primarily off of this life. Because y'all the ones buying all the shit, man. All the TVs, all the, uh, uh, all the stickers, all the, 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 the 